Hi, I'm Rachel Riley, and I make no secret of the fact that I love mathematics. But people in the UK react in different ways when the word maths is mentioned. Maths was... Terrible. Enjoyed at times, but I found challenging at times. I, I really hated maths. It was a love and a hate subject. I hated it. I was okay at maths at school. It was never, it was never one of my favourite subjects. I, I just don't get it. So I always found maths interesting. Yeah, maths wasn't that good. I was pretty good at it. It wasn't my favourite subject, no. I always found it quite hard. Maths in primary school was fine, I think. But when I got to secondary school, I struggled. Um, at school, I was quite good at maths. Until year 10, year 11, I kind of fell off. I used to enjoy maths um, in the early stages. Maths just became harder all of a sudden. I remember during primary school I wouldn't find it as difficult, but as we came into, you know, getting pushed into GCSEs and stuff, I just found it a lot harder. Regardless of how you felt about maths at school, as an adult, numeracy matters. But what exactly do we mean by numeracy? Well, we don't mean mysterious equations on blackboards or abstract ideas. We mean the skills that we use every day at home and at work to make the best decisions that we can, often without realising it. We mean being able to use basic maths in real life situations, and real life situations can be complicated. Employers ask for maths qualifications, but what they're usually looking for is people who can use numeracy in the workplace to understand information and make the best decisions possible. When you're looking for, for someone new to, to project management or looking to get into that is just having an understanding of what, what, what maths is used for and what particular, um, how you can use it quickly on your feet to come up with a, with a message or, or work out if something is, is accurate or not. Um, for me, I'm going on to do nursing so I need the maths in order to give correct inf you know, medication and things like that. Everything is calculated. Um, so you've got to know what length something is, or you've got to know how much material you've got to use, and also you've got to know how much money you have and how much money you can spend. Because you can't say, oh, I want to make 100 metres of something and not have the right amount of money for it. So it always plays a key part in my art and design. Because of the career that I wanted, um, as a hairdresser, I needed to know it because every element of being a hairdresser has maths in it. I needed to know how to create a haircut using maths, how to create a colour using maths. I use maths on a day-to-day -day basis with kind of uh, money in, money out kind of spends like petty cash and stuff like that. I use maths when we break down our kind of yearly and quarterly budgets and look at where we're going to spend money, how we're going to spend money. I need numbers to prove um, to prove what it is we've done in a way that other people can understand fully. So there will be things that are very complex, but I use numbers to explain things in their most simple, boiled down form so that people don't need to necessarily understand completely everything in order to digest the idea of what it is we've accomplished as a business. That fundamentally could be the difference between the success or the failure of their businesses, those kind of missteps. So it's trying to realise that this is a really, really crucial part of starting a business and if you can grasp these kind of concepts now then they're going to be really kind of critical for you when, when you go forward. The, all, this whole pattern kind of thing is maths, like literally. Like you have to work out circumference of stuff and radius with the flounces. It doesn't sound like there's maths in fashion but there definitely is. I use maths for everything. <laughs> I use it a lot here. There are some myths about maths that boys are better at it? Well, math is for each and every one of us and our gender has absolutely nothing to do with it. Number two, that it's all about memorising rules and then reproducing them as quickly as you can. Well, if you take it slowly and try to understand numeracy rather than just memorising it, you'll find it much easier to apply it in daily life. Number three, that there's only one correct answer and only one way to get to it. In real life, it's not the one correct answer that's usually needed, but more often a good estimate. Numeracy is knowing that there are different ways of doing things and choosing which way works best for you. Finally, we're not talking about something that you can't do. We're talking about skills that with a little patience and effort, any of us can do. Any student can improve their maths. I haven't had a student yet who came and they left the spot list when they arrived. 
If I can do it, you can do it. Amen would tell you I was going to quit after I went to, you know, I was, I was told this end for me. This is doing, was really doing my head in. Uh, and then, um, who did I talk to? Eamon said to me, you can do it. And then I talked to another teacher outside and she goes, you've got nothing to lose, have another go. So I did. When I passed it, I was so jumped to joy. I asked anyone in the class, I'd do a jig. <laughs> and this we did a jig in the class and I found a pass. So I said, well, I'm going to do that for the next one. We're talking about skills that with a little patience and effort, any of us can do. Mm -hmm.